Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 14, and we have back as a guest this week, Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. This guy was on a, a hiatus of a couple of weeks, but now he's back, and that's good news for everyone. Why? Winners. The guy's record at his website has been killer, and the guy's record in our videos for free all NFL year long. You know, say whatever you want about him, but you can't attack him for his record. Justin Bat, thanks for being back with us. It's great to be back, Peter. You know what? It was a two-week layoff there. I did have intentions of coming back last week, but unfortunately, technical difficulties prevented it. <laughs> I was going to take Carolina spread and New Orleans spread, so I would have went one and one with you guys. But that's no excuse, so let's get to week 14 picks. All right. Yeah, there we go. Honesty. All right. Well, the first game you chose is uh, New England-San Diego. Interesting game here. You know, it's kind of an obvious side. We'll see if you agree with that side or if you uh, think it's some kind of a trap. But first, just, you know, give everyone a rundown of your site, IlluminatiSports.ca, and tell us all how you've done this year. Well, yeah, everyone must be wondering uh, out there how we're doing at Illuminati Sports. 4-1 and one last week in the NFL at Illuminati Sports. Watch the other SBR video for this week to see who we were on in week 13. Our NFL Pass is running at an amazing hit rate. To be honest, I don't think subscribers to the NFL Pass are even paying attention anymore. They're likely laying on a beach somewhere tropical, getting pampered, sipping on a margarita while getting palm leaves waved to cool them down. But back at Illuminati Sports, we don't have time to take vacations or days off because our handicapping team is hard at work to keep subscribers satisfied and in the winner's circle. As previously stated in SBR videos, not a single subscriber complaint since 2012 establishment. We offer various services, which ranges from professional sports-specific passes to subscription services. If viewers are uncertain what we're made of, we're adding a daily owner selection three-star pass and pick six pack, which are all going to be extremely affordable and profitable. For everyone out there, don't break the bank. Attain your financial goals and boost your bankroll with us at IlluminatiSports.ca. All right. Well, that was one hell of a pitch there. Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. And we'll see what you can tell us about uh, the Pats and Chargers. And this line has now officially moved onto three and a half. Three was available earlier in the week, but right now it's uh, Thursday afternoon. And uh, so if you wanted New England, can't give you three anymore. It's right now three and a half market wide. The total is 51. You know, the Chargers pulled out a road win at Baltimore, but before that they had lost six in a row against the spread, just struggling in lots of different ways and overvalued a great bet against. And the Pats, you know, they lost big showdown a a against uh, Green Bay. No real shame in that loss. And now we've got Brady and the Pats off a loss. We know how dangerous uh, Brady and the Pats are always, uh, have been historically off a loss. And the Pats were 6-1 and one against the spread in the seven games before the Green Bay game. So I guess the obvious pick here would be New England. Is that what you like here? Well, Peter, definitely, uh, definitely going to lean towards one side here. But before we get to that, is it really going to be possible that the Patriots get spanked again on prime time like they did to Kansas City? I mean, that was a massacre on the road. So I'm sure they got that thought near their uh, game plan for this week in 14. Historically, these teams have traded wins back and forth like rock and sock and robots in San Diego. We simply can't neglect the fact of Tom Brady and Bill Belichick after a loss, though. You know, just throwing a couple stats out there. The unders three and one in San Diego's last four games as home underdog, but they are one and three in their last four games versus the Pats. On Sunday night football, San Diego's record's pretty fresh. It's eight and three, but that also includes postseason. New England, respectively, is nine and eight as well, and that includes postseason as well. On top of that, New England has won both games on Sunday night football so far this year. I couldn't dig a whole lot up on this game, but I certainly know what side we're going to be on at Luminary Sports. So let's hear those five words, Peter. All right, let's get to the pick. And it sounds like you're uh, leaning towards uh, the Pats. And if that's the case, you know, if we had done this call early, earlier in the week, we could have given you minus three. Right now, if you like the Pats, we're going to have to give you sticky with three and a half. Well, despite being absent for the past two weeks, we still see a really good edge for a side here, even with the half point. But that being said, we're going back to the visiting Patriots at minus three and a half. Why? Here's another stat that we forgot. Phillip Rivers has started for the Chargers since 2007 against a Brady-led Patriots team. He's an 0 for 5 in those games. So if the half point burns us, so be it. But we got to ride the trend until it breaks. Hey, New Matt, England minus three and a half. Justin Bat from IlluminatiSports.ca. Sometimes he gives contrarian picks. Here he's given a pick that's probably going to be in line with the public. Everyone might be a winner this week with New England. Right now, minus three and a half is the market-wide number. Thanks so much, Justin.
The SBR network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real-time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.